Good everyone, you're watching Retro Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if Copilot is not available in your Windows 11 machine. If you're not sure what Copilot is, Copilot is an artificial intelligence assistant integrated into Windows 11. This new feature collaborates with Bing Chat and Chat GPT plugins, which makes your workflow seamless and eliminate the need of constantly switching between the apps. Now, there are instances in spite of uh, installing the latest update the copilot may not be visible in your windows now there are a couple of steps which you can try to get this issue resolved now first step what i would suggest you to do is i would suggest you to make sure you have the latest version of windows update installed on the computer to do this you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings page you may go ahead and click on windows update and under Windows Update, click on Check for the Updates. What this will do is, this will go ahead and check for the latest updates for your Windows. And if there are any updates to be installed for your Windows, it will go ahead and prompt, install those updates, restart the computer, and check if the Copilot icon appears at the bottom right corner of your Windows taskbar. If it appears, well and good, you don't have to worry about the next step. The next step, what I would suggest you is make sure you're uh, logged into your or connect your Windows machine or user account is connected to your Microsoft account. How do you do? Uh, how do you check or how do you connect? In case if it is not, is you'll have to do a right click on the Start button and then click on Settings. Once you're on the Settings page, on the left hand side, you may go ahead and click on Accounts. Under Accounts. If your Microsoft Windows is connected to Microsoft account, you would see that under accounts, you would see your Microsoft account displaying here. If not, you, you will not, you will see it as a local account. So you will have to go ahead and click on your, your info. Under your info, you would see an option to um, sign in with the Microsoft account instead. In case if you see an option to sign in with the Microsoft account instead, so you may go ahead and click on it and s sign into your Microsoft account. In case if you don't have a Microsoft account, create one. You would be given a prompt to create a Microsoft account. Follow the step-by-step -step instruction. Once you have signed into Microsoft account, restart your computer and check if uh, the Copilot options are available in your Windows. Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you still don't see uh, Copilot, the next step uh, I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to um, enable Copilot from the uh, taskbar settings. How do you do it? You can do a right click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings. Under this section, uh, you will see an option which says Copilot preview. Make sure it has been enabled for your Windows. So once you enable it for your Windows, um, you may go ahead and um, that should enable the Copilot button on your in your windows now there might be instances that in spite of uh, enabling the copilot window you may not see the copilot icon in your windows that's because uh, of the multi setup multi monitor setup so what you can also do is as a next step you can go ahead and uh, check if you have a multi monitor setup in case if you have a multi monitor setup Disable the multi-monitor setup uh, for a moment and check if the copilot icon appears on the screen. Now, in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to run the copilot from the dialog box. So to do this, what you can do is you can click on right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you may go ahead and type this command. I will also mention this command in the video description you can copy and paste it and click on ok that should open the copilot icon in your windows or copilot screen on your windows this is another way and an alternate method now um, that's one way of doing it now in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem um, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution I hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.